Is this is this real? Well, Cody, you can hop on if you want, dude. Okay. All right, we got B-Pow and Tento. Don't know much about these players personally. Hello, I am DMX, and I am commentating for Losers Quarterfinals. And I was actually kind of surprised about this matchup too. I didn't think B-Pow would play Boryo. Yeah, I saw him game. play Mennonite, right, earlier? Uh, B-Pow plays Boryo in Brawl, so that might actually be Oh, uh, okay. It's gonna be an interesting matchup. I've never really seen anything like this. DDD has to reach. Yeah, then the Tento main DDD, do you know? Or no, he, just... he has like no main at all. Oh, he just plays like everybody? Yeah, he just plays whoever he wants. Yeah, you, don't, you don't see many DDD players. No, you don't. Tento has a pretty uh, crazy uh, DDD though, but he's not doing oh, too, so well right now. <laughs> Just goes out. I like how Beep out just threw a side B out there. Yeah. It, it never would have expected it. The air F smash. The air F Come on, Wario. He turns into a bunch of little colors. <laughs> oh, that was a nice neutral beat. Just though. fits all of that space penguin into his belly. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever need it is. You know, that hitbox is actually, uh, that grab box is actually really strange. Yeah, it is. Look at it. I, I've had some weird things happen here with that grab box. You never expected to grab you. Like, it can, like, grab you from kind of behind him sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's really weird. That's an interesting recovery right Please there. He, he knew, Bebop knew that if he went down below, he would not make it back. Yeah. I don't know. I think Dedede is one of the best stage guarding characters in this game. That's not necessarily. I mean... I mean, at least, I don't know. DDD has, like, one powerful option for edge guarding, and that's down B. Because no matter what they're going to do, no matter how they get up, down B can almost always hit them. Mm -hmm. If you charge it up, at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. B-Pow's demonstrating really great uh, stage control right now. Yeah. Just would not let Tinto on stage. Keep him on the edge, which is kind of what DDD would want to do, is control a lot of area with his big hitboxes. But yeah, but Tinto's just been going way too far in. Yeah. Tinto's bringing it back, though. Yeah. yeah. Iowa versus uh, Oklahoma right here. This is really interesting. Iowa? b -Pow's from Iowa. Oh. I, He's the best from Iowa. I did not know. Yep. Oh, oh kicks a Beautiful board. Kicks smash. that penguin. What? You're going to get out of your shield, man? You're going to get out of your shield? <laughs> I love DDD's crouch. He's just, <laughs> he just poses. Like, Everything about DDD <laughs> is trollish. <laughs> oh, oh, He's like, draw me. Please draw me. Oh, that was really strange. I think that was a tech error. Maybe. Because he held it, too. I'm surprised he didn't try to get stopped that sooner. Just please, get out my mouth. <laughs> just please. They both wanted to eat each other. <laughs> God. But they're fat. <laughs> they're hungry. Where the heads sit like a normal person? I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Look at you, looking all professional. That was an interesting side view right there. I didn't expect b to try to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Alright, oh, that beautiful the side. F smash takes him out. I'm just gonna call it that for now. I honestly think this uh, uh, matchup is pretty even. I think they both have really good tools against each other. Uh, yeah, I can, I can kind of see that. Just depends on how they play it. I mean, DDD's definitely got the range advantage, but that doesn't mean... DDD slow. Yeah. I don't know, both, clear, both characters are pretty slow. Yeah, Wario's... I mean, he's faster in the air than he is on the ground. I, mean, I can't believe that didn't bite. I don't know, that was weird. DDD having a huge grab range. I think maybe b -Pow went with this matchup because he's actually more familiar with this matchup in Brawl Ooh. than Med Knight versus DDD. Yeah, you know? maybe. Yeah. That Brawl backgrounds that I don't have. Brawl backgrounds. I had a Brawl background for like a month and I was like, I'm over it. <laughs> I had it for about a year because that was the only way I could play Smash yeah. against people, so. And then we came along. I would not be surprised if Tinto picked a different character in this. Who do you think he'd go to? I really have no idea. If he's going to counter pick uh, Wario, he'd probably pick somebody like either Fox or Marth. He has so many different pocket characters. Yeah, I can see Marth doing really good against Wario. The dead James of Oklahoma. <laughs> Is he poor? No, he actually has a job. You gotta be poor to be dead. 
<laughs> Gotta have money, John. Dude. Shout out to Dead James. <laughs> Shout out to your poor Hashtag girl. poor man. <laughs> Hashtag poor. <laughs> Hashtag pool party. Hashtag foot dive. He, he can't even uh, he can't even afford to have a pool party. He can't even afford he to even go afford to a to pool, come party. To pool party. <laughs> Beef out switch to Meta Knight. This is interesting. <laughs> How do you think this matchup goes, Mr. Meta Knight player? Oh my gosh. Terrible? Well, Tinto just switched to Mars uh, well, after Beef House switched to Meta Knight. I saw you play a Mars the other last week and Well two weeks ago and it wasn't it didn't go very well. Yeah. I don't know. Mars has to reach. If Meta Knight can't get in, if he can't be as aggressive enough to, in order to get in, uh, Mars has the advantage. Yeah. Which Tinto has experience against me, so it may very well be good against for him. I don't know. Has it been working out for him so far? Nice voice match. Yeah, it seems like Marth can convert on the grabs really well with Meta Knight. Meta Knight can combo Marth pretty well with the mind game. Meta Knight's like the only character that has that force match mind game. Eh, Mario I think kind of does too. Because Mario's is so fast. Yeah, he so is. But yeah, a lot of people just run into Meta Knight's so smash. It's goofy. It's nice recovery. <laughs> Beef House doing a really good, like, there are easier ways to edge guard Marth than to stay on stage, though. Yeah. Yeah, Marth's up B is not nearly as hard to edge guard as Roy's. Oh, it's a lot easier. <laughs> Roy's up B is so good. If, if we were actually melee players, we would say that Marth's edge guard, uh, like, Marth's up B is easy to edge guard. Yeah. yeah. Just throw your head in there, man. <laughs> Just grab the ledge. And the Nair seals the stock. Hmm. <laughs> They're pretty close to the neutral. Though. Yeah, this is this is pretty even. One big hit will take it up. Take Mark. I mean, Meta Knight's next up. Beef House just making sure that he doesn't get into that range, though. Yeah. He's constantly all over him, like I was saying. If you know how to approach Mars, you've got the advantage. Yeah, you have to get in on Mars. And then once you get in, you can... Ooh, that almost killed him. The IDC that I wish was just eliminated from this game. I know, it seems like a weird thing. Yeah, as a Meta Knight player, I feel like having that in your, like, in your belt is just worthless. Like, your Meta Knight's already good enough. Well, now, is that down throw to IDC? Is that, like, guaranteed? Like you were doing it to me earlier? Uh, like, no, I didn't it's, have an opportunity to attack, it felt like, before you hit me. It depends on how you DI it. Yeah. I think as her presents, it's guaranteed, but... Okay. You can trick me up and, like, just make it so that I can chain grab you, that kind of DI, and then I can oh, just so flip it out. It's either get chain grabbed or get IDC. But then, <laughs> I'll expect, like, IDC. So I IDC when I could have chain grabbed you, and then you can punish me for it. <laughs> There's not really many opportunities to get do it against a Marth player, though. Yeah. Just from grabs. A tipper will definitely take the stock. He has to get that tipper first. Yeah. Hmm. Tinto is not doing a very good job of spacing at all. Yeah, it's hard to space. The Meta Knight's rushing you down all the time sometimes. Yeah. Yo, that was good. The shield breaker comes out. He yeah. knew that v was going to die. there, there. Kevin? I see you. That was Alex, wasn't it? <laughs> no, the mouse. Uh, <laughs> Kevin messing with us. <laughs> you should like start pulling up pictures just out of nowhere. That would ruin the stream. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice neutral air. That was. That was sick. It's like the tippered nair. Tinto. He was displaying he has the tech skill, he just does not have the position. Oh, we got show. Ooh, nice tip. Looks like a tip to me. I think it was. Because <laughs> he was at like 15%, so mm -hmm. I had pretty good knockback for that percent. Something I noticed about Tinto that he that most Mar Mars players do that he never does is fair. He never fares. Yeah, that's kind of a Marsh staple. He's got a fare. I mean, he keeps Men and I at bay. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to read with four smashes. He's getting hungry right now because he's in a really big disadvantage. Yeah, a lot of Marth players have that problem. They just get your opponent to kill percent. They get too hungry with the S smash. Yeah, I noticed that. Like, once they're under pressure, they just force smash away. Oh, yeah. they, they get kill hungry. They do. It's interesting, like, in Smash, this is the kind of thing that happens to you whenever you go under pressure. You can see, like, the, what they're doing in their gameplay. What the heck was that? Is that a locust?